Hey guys, it's Phoenix Android Radios, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the radio for the Toyota Tundra. This is the Android 10. You have physical buttons, mode, AC, front, and these buttons can also be programmable to first do the function they're labeled for, but also a specific op function that you program it to. So there's two functionalities for all these buttons. The back of the radio looks like this. You have your GPS antenna, which you would screw on with the antenna here. You will also maybe be provided a adapter that can retain your factory antenna so you don't need the GPS antenna here. But if you don't have that adapter, you can just screw on the provided antenna. There is a 4G LTE signal, 4G antenna for a SIM card. And this is the puff for that. Screw that onto here. And the radio has a built-in SIM card reader, which is right here. You insert it here. And we've used AT&T and T-Mobile. They seem to work. You also have an extra SIM card reader here. And this one you can insert through here. The radio antenna is here, which comes from the main harness we'll look at later. The power plug here, a fuse there, and a coaxial and optical input for external sound system if you want to install one. Looking at the extra harnesses, we have a couple here. One for the factory backup camera, and it is a 10-pin connector that connects to here. Notice that the clip is facing downwards, so that's how to connect it here. Once that's clicked in, you have a female RCA here, and this female RCA to retain the factory backup camera is going to either come from this harness which is from 2014 to 19 vehicles or this harness which is 2020 and 21 and you can see both harnesses have a male RCA to connect the factory backup camera. The other extra harnesses you have is this auxiliary harness and it has the sim card slot as well as an external microphone connector uh, we don't recommend using the external microphone that comes with the harnesses here because the radio itself has a built-in microphone and that happens to be right here along with the RST button that you can use with the paper clip or needle. If the built-in microphone on the radio does not work, of course you can connect the external microphone. There is also an option in the settings to switch over to your factory microphone on the vehicle which uh, test both out and see which one you prefer. On these RCAs, you have FR, FL, out for front right and front left. And you have another set, which is right here on the 14 to 19 harness, rear left and rear right. This is if you wanna connect an aftermarket sound system through RCAs. Otherwise, these RCAs are not needed. You have a... Uh, are the same one rr out rl out but these are not used disregard them you have cvbs out one this is an output signal that will output anything you input to either aux cvbs or aux avn so say you put a video feed in one of these rcas aux it will output on the cvbs out you have a subwoofer rca Again, if you want to put an aftermarket sound system. Otherwise, you have your factory sound system, not needed. You have the external mic input, 3.5 jack. And you have aux R in, aux L in. These are inputs to support the factory 3.5 jack on your uh, vehicle, the factory aux jack. And this is the large plug that connects to the back of the radio here. Notice that the clip is facing downwards and not upwards. And you have two USB sets of cables. You have one that is a four pin and then one that is a six pin. The six pin has two USB ports. All USB ports can do power and data reading. However, However, the 4-pin connector is exclusively for the Android Auto or built-in Apple CarPlay. So the 4-pin goes right here.
and the six pin clip facing downwards goes in between the camera and the other USB. So these are the extra harnesses that come with the radio. Now if we look at the main harness, there's going to be two sets depending on which vehicle you have. This is for the 2014 to 2019 models. And we have the power connector here with this uh, extra set. So you do need to plug this in and that plugs right into here. Very important to plug this connector with the two green wires. Uh, even if you're not using an aftermarket system, if you're not using an aftermarket sound system, these RCAs are not needed. But this connector is needed for the canvas communication for the car. And it is a eight pin connector, which connects to the top here. So remember to connect this, otherwise you may not have air conditioning control or door status showing. Aside from that, you have the radio antenna, which we mentioned earlier, connects up here. And the rest of the connectors here all go to the vehicle. Just uh, find some matching connectors. You also have this connector that connects to the back of the radio here. And this set of harnesses is the AUX R and AUX L. This would connect to the vehicle and this is to retain the factory 3.5 jack on your car. So the AUX R and AUX L would connect to the auxiliary cables here labeled AUX in and AUX L in like so. So that's a quick rundown of connecting the cables for the vehicles 2014 to 2019. And don't forget to connect the factory backup camera labeled CAM CVBS, which would connect to the connector up top here that we had earlier. And this female RCA labeled CCD AVN. Make sure to connect the connector at the bottom here. This comes from the vehicle to retain the air conditioning control support. So this was 2014 to 19 harness. Now for the 2014 to 19, you also get this adapter, which is supposed to retain one of the factory USB ports on your vehicle that you already have. It's not mandatory to use this, but if you do plan to use this, we recommend using the secondary USB set which is the six pin connector right here. And it has two labels. You can connect to either one or two. Does not matter, but you would connect it here. And this would connect to the vehicle to support the factory USB port on your car. And the other two USB ports, we recommend routing them outside the vehicle for easy access. Looking at the 2020 and 2021 model harness, it's a little bit less connectors, but again, connect matching connectors, connect your camera to CCD at the top here. And the connector here needs to go to here as well. And the power cord goes up here. Both, both harnesses come with this adapter. So just disconnect here. And this adapter, we need to connect up here. Tundra vehicles 2020 and 2021, some of them do not have an AUX set, but if you do have an AUX L and AUX R set, you can connect them to the top up here on this auxiliary connections labeled AUX R and AUX N. This only applies if you do have a aux jack on your vehicle. And again for the camera, cam CVBS going to the top here on a, going to the top here with CCD AV in. Radio antenna connection. And the canvas connection to the back of the radio.
Remember to connect the connector up here, which is the extra canvas communication, the two green wires up here. Okay. 